If you have a dream, if you have a goal, go for it. Don't hold back. Don't talk yourself out of it. If you choose to stay where you are forever, you will stay stuck. Sometimes you have to take that leap that is scary to level up in your life. <laughs> I literally can't believe it. It's so weird. It's so weird. I'm just reflecting. My dad has just left. This is the first time I'm gonna be in this flat on my own. The first night I'll be spending in here alone. Get me water. Do you know what? It was actually really nice having my mum stay here the first night. The second night I stayed in my family home. The third night I had dad stay here. I wasn't sure if he was gonna stay or not. I'm really glad he did stay because it was really nice spending that quality time with my mum and that quality time with my dad. I know it was separate, but it's the only way we could really do it. But it was really nice. Cause it kind of just, I don't know. It was just really, really nice to have that quality time with them. My mum got really emotional when I was saying goodbye to her, bless her. My dad's not really the emotional type. I realized as he was driving off, I started feeling emotional. And I think that's why I'm kind of like, what is happening? <laughs> it's the first time I've walked back into this flat knowing that nobody's going to come at the door or, you know, it's all starting to hit me. And I knew it would happen once everyone had gone because obviously with people being here, it's distracting. It's just me now. There's things in here that I'm, you know, I'm going to move around. I've just got things into a place where it's comfortable and that spare room is just full of everything. It's the time actually. What is the time? I am right by the road, by the way, so the cars you will hear, but it's so hot I cannot shut the windows. <sighs> so yeah, what I'm gonna do today, now that I'm here on my own, just chill if I'm honest, because I think I just need to sit and process everything. When I'm busy, it just proves that like when you're busy, you don't actually process stuff properly because you're distracted by other things. Whereas like when you stop, you sit and you reflect, it's like your mind's or my mind's saying, this is your space now, you live here. It's just weird. It's just weird because I've never ever had this before, ever. I've been craving it for so long. And this manifestation that I've you know had in mind for so long has actually come true because I went for it. I actually said it, I put it out there into the universe and then I took action on it for it to come into fruition. The universe guided me to the right place at the right time. The universe truly does guide me and I think sometimes I need to take a moment to actually appreciate myself. Because sometimes I just do things and I don't think. Like, I'm just like, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I like this idea and I'm gonna do it. I just do it, you know? I don't let myself talk myself out of it. I never talk myself out of things because if I want to do something, why not just do it? Otherwise I'll regret it. I grew up in Berkshire and then we moved when I was like nine years old to a little town in Hampshire. I knew I never wanted to live there forever because I remember when I was in a relationship with my ex of six years, he had his own house and I lived with him for a little bit. That's the only time I've ever lived outside of my parents' home other than traveling for a year and three months. I used to say to him, but do you, do you want to live here for the rest of your life? Do you see yourself living here forever? And he'd always say yes, yes, yes. And I never felt like I would say yes. Yes, I think I was saying it to see if he would he was feeling the same as me and I remember thinking to myself I wouldn't want to live here forever so I've always known that I've never wanted to live in that town forever I've always known that there's places for me that suit me and my personality and my vibe more and there's like nothing to do where I live it's really like there's really not a lot going on whereas where I've moved to there's lots going on there's a lot of beautiful walks around here nature is gorgeous and also just there's things that I can do that you know is more aligned to me and my path it just feels right you know it just feels right wow I've got a really massive spot on my shoulder that I really want to pick ow just cover that up. I'm actually here now. I've I've done it. I have moved out. I've moved to a completely different county. That's two hours away from my parents' house. <laughs> two hours away from all my 
friends and my family. It's weird. I'm just rambling now. I'm just rambling for the sake of rambling. I've got a box over there that's just spiritual stuff. I want to open that up. I want to get some incense going. I want to create a sacred space, maybe sage the place as well. Hopefully I don't set the alarms off. I think it'll be all right. I'll probably reiki the room as well just to cleanse the space. Any energy that isn't mine to seep out of the windows and leave and create this sacred space and this sacred container that is now my fucking home. What the fuck? <gasps> what the actual fuck? <laughs> I literally can't believe it. It's so weird. It's so weird. I, I literally came back from travel. Like, I literally came back from traveling in 2020. And I've managed to, in that time, go through somewhat of a breakup, let's say. Go through a really deep, dark night of the soul. Go into all my shadow, looking into all my inner child, do loads of healing. Sat with loads of plant medicine. I got qualified in Reiki level one and two. I am now a qualified soul alignment coach. I've managed to get a job that pays me enough so that I can live in my own space. And I've moved to a town that I have always wanted to move to. And... I've done that all within two years. 2020, 2021, 2022, yeah, all within two years. So, that just shows you that don't fucking underestimate yourself. If you have a dream, if you have a goal, fucking go for it, go for it. Don't hold back, don't let yourself talk yourself out of it because you could achieve anything that you want to achieve. I, if I've managed to achieve all of this within two years, fucking hell, but you can achieve anything you want. Don't fucking limit yourself. If you have a dream, if you have a goal, if you have a desire, you fucking go for it. Go for it. You'll regret it otherwise. And if you're afraid of failing, don't think about anything as a failure. At least you tried. You know, at least you went for it. At least you put some... If it doesn't work out, that's okay. Like, you've learned so much from it. You can just try with something else. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it what I say. I would recommend just giving it a try because if you don't follow your dreams, if you don't follow your goals, you might not ever be fully happy or content because you're not living life the way you want to live life. Just go for it. I'm going to go anyway because this is going to have to be a whole other video in itself. I just want to say one more thing. I genuinely believe that if you choose to stay where you are, right, forever, you will stay stuck. If you feel like you have this desire to reach out and go for bigger and better things, right, sometimes you have to take that leap that is fucking scary to level up in your life. And if you don't take that leap, you will stay in this place. You'll stay stuck, you know, live in that same loop. But for me, moving out was a big deal because, you know, it's a huge expenditure. You're going to be spending a lot of money on bills. It might be that you're living month by month with your nine to five job. If you don't do that and you have desires, you might stay stuck in this place. But I believe truly, and I'm going to say this out now because I think this is what is going to happen. Because I've taken this leap, this big decision to move and be in a place that might cause me a little bit of fear around money and things like that then actually the universe will reward me because I know I'm going to be fine but because I've taken that leap of faith the universe will see that I'm willing to take the plunge and willing to go for it go for my dreams go for my goals the universe will reward me with manifestations of what I've been trying to call in for so long I know that this process and me building my business on the side is going to be amazing being in this space my coaching business everything's happening in this space everything's coming into life in this space so this is really a big deal this is going to be a place where so many things are going to come from this move i really believe that i really believe that in my heart it's like the seed has been planted in the soil for so long i've been nurturing that seed for so long and now i can it's finally starting to come up to the surface by just taking that first little leap it's like that first sprout has just sprouted and now i've got to grow this little sprout into a beautiful tree trees take a while to grow rome wasn't built in a day you know so i'm willing to let this just ride out the way it should do in divine timing you know i'm not gonna force anything i'm just gonna let it flow some structure and some some structure and some what word am i trying to think of right now routine that's what i'm looking for anyway i'm gonna go because i'm just babbling <laughs>
say goodbye for now. I'm so happy to have you on this journey. Thank you all for following me on this journey if it's been any interest to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much and I appreciate each and every single one of you that watches these videos. Thank you. Peace, love and namaste to each and every single one of you. Bye guys.